Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Nolan N88 helmet. This helmet has just arrived to replace Nolan's very popular N87, which is a lid that's won loads of awards over the last seven years or so. This one's a bit higher in specification than the N87, and I'd say it actually picks up and takes off where the N87 Plus left off. So that was a more premium version of the N87 with a better comfort lining on the inside and a slightly higher price tag. You get both with this N88, you get the better liner and you get the higher price tag. Where the N87 was generally around 150 to 200 pounds, this N88 starts at 200 pounds for plain colors and goes up to 23999 for graphics, which is about where the N87 Plus was. Anyone who's had an N87 or N87 Plus will feel very familiar with this helmet. It's a plastic shelled sports touring helmet with a drop down sun visor, a plush interior lining. It's got a micrometric strap fastener and it's prepared for the official Nolan Bluetooth intercom. It's also one of the first two plastic shelled helmets to come onto the market that passed the new, more stringent ECE 2206 safety tests. Anyway, let's get into the meat of what this helmet actually is. The shell is made from Lexan, which is a high grade of polycarbonate that Nolan have been using to make their helmet shells since they were first founded 50 years ago. This one's not what I'd call a lightweight helmet as such, but nor would I call it a heavyweight. This size medium helmet weighs in on our scales at 1597 grams. That's only 12 grams heavier than the N87 Plus when we weighed that one a year or two ago. And that shows that meeting that tougher new safety standard doesn't have to mean substantially heavier helmets than we had before, which is generally good news for everyone, I think. Ventilation for this helmet comes through both the chin and the crown. The chin vent slides open here to uncover this air inlet at the top, which then lets air come through the chin bar into the eye port. On top, there's a two-stage slider here, which allows air to come in and move through channels in the EPS impact liner and then escape through exhaust vents at the back of the helmet. I found the ventilation on this helmet to be fine. It was perfectly acceptable, but I wouldn't go big on how good it is. It's just okay, really. The visor will be especially familiar to people who've owned an N87 for one reason, really. It's the same visor. It changes really easily. We're going to put a link in the description below to our video on how to make that change really easily. And the visor is also operated by one central lifting and lowering tab. It's got one, two, three, four, five stages from top to bottom, and then it can be pushed up very slightly to create a small gap that lets through some air while you're riding. It's protected against mist by a pinlock insert that's max vision, and it covers the majority of the visible area. Nolan don't have pinlock branding on their inserts, but I would say this is a pinlock 70. So that's the middle of the three grades that are available. A couple of handy things about this pinlock. Firstly, the helmet comes with it already fitted, so that's one less hassle for you to deal with in your life. Secondly, if you ever need to adjust the tension of the insert, then it's really easy. Rotating these adjusters on the outside of the visor moves the concentric pins on the inside, and that allows the insert to sit tighter or looser on the inner surface of the visor. There's also an internal sun visor, and Nolan have fitted the VPS operating switch they use on some of their higher end helmets. So it lowers in four stages on this sliding switch here, and then pushing this button retracts the visor fully in one step. So as with all Nolan helmets I've ever tried, that sun visor is anti-fog coated, which is really handy. So switching to the inside, the liner for this helmet is fully removable and the cheek pads have the emergency release function. So a medic can pull those cheek pads out while you're still wearing the lid and that makes it easier for them to take the helmet off you if they need to. The top pad has what Nolan called liner positioning control. That means you can make the helmet sit slightly higher on your head if you want it to. Behind the cheek pads, there are recesses for intercom speakers and this helmet is set up to use Nolan's Encom unit. I tried fitting a Cardo Pack Talk Bold, but I couldn't fit the 40 millimeter speakers for that in the recesses. I also had a go with the Senna 20S Evo, and again, I couldn't get the speakers to sit in there properly. There probably is a way to get a universal intercom to work with this helmet, but I think it'll take a bit of creativity to use anything other than Nolan's official system. So the cheek pads are what Nolan call eyewear adaptive. So there are partial cuts in the foam at the top of each cheek pad, and you can take away all the foam above that cut, which makes room for your spectacle arms. The final really important detail with the interior is the strap fastener, which is a micrometric buckle arrangement. It has Nolan's two-stage opening on it, so you need to rotate this red tab before the buckle will release here to release its grip on the tooth slider there. 
and that's designed to reduce the chances of the buckle coming undone accidentally. So before I wrap up, let's cover sizing and approvals. The N88 comes in sizes double extra small up to triple extra large, and that bigger size covers a 65 centimeter head. There are two shell sizes to cover that range as well. The helmet sizes up to and including medium share the smaller shell, while that bigger shell covers everything from helmet size large and above. Often that would mean smaller helmet sizes having really thick foam to pad them out, and bigger helmet sizes having really thin foam to leave room for your head on the inside. But this helmet has six different thicknesses of EPS impact liner available. So you're not just padding out those different sizes with different thicknesses of soft foam. There's a thicker or thinner EPS inside to suit your head size. In terms of approvals, this meets, as I said earlier, the new ECE 2206 standard for use on the road. And that makes this the first 2206 helmet we've reviewed that costs less than 400 pounds. And it's half of that if you buy a plain color. Those new tests are stiffer than the current standard. So I think you can have really good confidence in the protection levels offered by this helmet. And if you want to use this one on track, you can as it's ACU Gold approved. So I'll give you my personal experience of this helmet. I wore this one while riding two different bikes, a Suzuki GSX-S1000 and also my own Yamaha FZ1 Phaser. This helmet performed really well on both. It was comfortable for my head shape. The visor gives really good vision, even when it's damp outside, especially that sun visor, and it felt really secure on my head. I've got a lot of respect for Nolan and how they go about things, and it doesn't surprise me at all that they're among the first companies to make a helmet to meet the new standard. And this one is a really good successor to the N87. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Nolan N88. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.